See, this is why the thing is that I don't think women could take criticism without <laughs> what? Saying, w- without it being in. What's crazy in, is I literally sat here in this chair and agreed with him. It's not about agreeing. I agreed with him. I I, I 100%. They can't take criticism without coupling it with black men. Because they have can't to do that. Talk about we are black. That's not how you sincerely. You, because take, why are you being divisive? We are. That's not. Black why is that divisive? People. Why is that divisive? I'm about to tell you. We are black. We are a community of black people. So that's the issue. So now that that's the if issue. If we can talk about black women and come to the agreement that that music is problematic, what is left to talk about? Why can't we now move on to another discussion, which is the black man? I'm not arguing with you. But I agree. No, no, no. So why do we have to keep talking about it? Why can't we now you, move on to another talk, situation? If you, if you talk about, if you talk about um, domestic violence, I, wow. am, I am not. I am not right after that going to say, well, black women are just so disrespectful Excuse and they keep on this that. Look, Why would I do listen, that? Listen, listen. You know what I'm talking about? Why In addition I... to explaining that he's trying to rap less about doing drugs, exactly. Lil Baby revealed that he no longer takes Percocet. I'm trying because I done rapped about drugs that I don't even take. If that's baby, if that's not promoting drug usage, I don't know what is. That is. So then here we are. So now baby promotes drug usage. Future promotes drug usage. Usage. Uh, Meg raps about sex and promotes hypersexualization. Cardi B raps about hypersexualization. So now what, what's the common ground? Because the fix is not only black women and the fix is not only black men. So it's not. we need to address it holistically. So what I'm saying is that all that is bad also, right? However, if if the only I don't so look, so Little Baby just came out with a song probably like three months ago called The Bigger Picture, right? Like it's a legit single, it's legit songs, probably my one of my favorite songs. I'm saying I understand what you're saying, but when you only are allowed to make a certain type of song. That is a unique problem in itself. That's what I feel. I don't think he only has to make this particular type of song. I so think he can write about out of all of his discography. He made one song. That now is enough for you no. to say one song. No, he made a couple. What are the other ones? Something to prove. Like what do you? You don't listen. What to do him. you? I'm saying. What What's do you wrong? Think, something to prove. What do you think he's talking about? <laughs> he's a nigga from the hood. So he has something to prove. Like that's a good song. I mean, he's I'm not, not talking about promoting drugs, song, but he's not out here. Like that's not a pretty thing either. Like what do you mean? What has to be pretty? Because he's talking about the fact that as a black man, he's been pigeonholed into the right hood. Now? What are you proving right now? I if you no would let me finish about. my sentence, okay. I would speak. But that's the fucking problem. You're not interested in the holistic community. You're interested in getting on this platform and shitting on black women. Nope, that's how you're taking it. And that shit is whack as that's hell. That's bad. It's whack as that's how you're taking it. What's whack is that you're taking it like that. the whole community has problems. Of course. Black women have problems. Black men have problems. If you I just listen sat here to what I said. And I just sat here. You done just went on a whole you're rant. You're not listening about, to what I'm saying correctly. You're not listening to me because I never stopped talking. I just, you just sat here and said that baby does not promote drug usage. I didn't say that. I, s- I said that lyric. I said that lyric was oh not promoting God. drug uses. This on That's what I'm saying. I said that lyric that I just heard was not supporting well, drugs. Let me ask you this though, like as a black man, right? I mean, I've heard a lot of your, your opinions, right? So you know, I talk about black men too. Are you gonna let him even finish? I'm, I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> what, what are you What are you trying to get um, across that you think black women are not? So what they hear is blame, right? What they hear is blame. If you listen even to the WAP uh, uh, music video, if you think I was blaming Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, that that's what I was doing, you didn't listen to it correctly. Really, I'm blaming white men. Most things that I say, I'm really blaming white men. However, it's not that hard for black women to hear they're, he's blaming and shitting on black women. But I'm not. I'm just not. But that's how they hear it. So this, this, this is the problem. This is what feminism did, in my opinion, right? If I'm saying something to black men or saying something to black women, we're just black. There is no, you have a lawn, water that first, and we got a lawn over here. That's just not how I think. And this is what I'm talking about. Black people need to put their race first. And then their sexual orientation, their gender, their, all that stuff second, right? So that fundamentally 
pins genders together because I'm not thinking about that. I'm not thinking I'm attacking black women. I'm literally thinking that, oh, I know this is some white shit, white stuff. I know there's a white man behind this and I'm going to I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. And when I do, I'm going to tell my people. That's the only, that's, I'm not thinking about. <laughs> but he's not telling black people, guys, black artists, black rappers as a whole, our music is, is white supremacy. So we need to stop all this shit. WAP needs to stop. Yeah, money back, that shit gotta stop. Baby, that shit gotta stop. The drug usage, the sex, the money, all that shit, it's all gotta stop. So I, that's what, one that's so, one side, right? So when that's one lens. Then there's Jerry, who's black women, you're a tool. And you're being used. Like you can't I said that about black men too, by the way. You can't tell anyone to put one experience my, over the other because all of them are happening simultaneously i don't wake up and put my black people hat on and then i take my black people hat off and then i put my woman hat on and then i take my woman hat off and then i put my straight person heterosexual per hat on and then i take that off i'm wearing all these hats at the same time and all of those hats together cloak my perspective so if you are really here for the community then why do you constantly single out one over the other when in all of these issues it's all of us as a whole in the music industry black people as a whole have room to improve as it relates to our money black people as a whole have something have things to improve i agree so stop talking about one or the other like talk about it holistically if you're going to talk about I black do. women talk about black men and you have to talk about them equally you can't have a level of empathy for one but then crack the whip at the other because i'm then, not cracking up anyway yes you do Jerry, that's how you take it you sat here and you did it you had no problem saying all of this stuff about WAP. but then when it comes to Lil baby who i just said has one of the top charting albums of the year it's well that's just his reality and i understand nope. that and and I get it. He that's not even really promoting drug use for real. Like he's just talking about drugs. He's not really promoting it. Like you just have all of these like excuses and like this empathy and whatnot for one side, but then the other is like, no. Do you think black women take accountability when black men are we're trying to show them things about the culture that may be negative about them? Um, I think that not always. Um, and I will say that I don't think that that always happens solely because in those conversations, they act as if like black women are like separate and succinct of society and that all of these things are happening on their own in a bubble. It's just black women. Like they, they negate the holistic perspective that would make someone receptive to hearing their opinion. Um, and we've seen it right here. Like, if you can tell me about myself as a black woman, if you as a black man that has never been a woman a day in your life can sit here and tell me about what is problematic to me as a black woman without then providing the context of how you as a black man fit into that narrative because you also play a part, who's gonna listen to that? That's like me sitting here saying, I have a problem with black men in the industry without equating the fact that as black women we are consumers we listen to the music we play into the music we're in the videos we're buying the stuff we're streaming it we're listening to it we do all those things as well so you cannot just talk about one without talking about the other because like i said we are a community and when you do that it prevents that open dialogue because now they're automatically going to be on the defensive because it, it's an attack when you leave out aspects of the situation it is an attack because mm -hmm. if you're trying to resolve if you're trying to grow you will talk about it in its entirety but when you don't who's gonna listen to that i just feel like you're trying to come at me and i'm not gonna listen at this point can i respond to that yeah <clears throat> that's a great point um i think we just we could possibly have different perspective of the holistic conversation um, like if I'm talking about the hypersexualization of, of, of black women, um, I'm talking about how it exists. I don't think part of that conversation is, well, a baby talks about selling drugs. That's just not where my brain goes. So if I'm omitting that, that's because I don't think it's relevant in the conversation. But now I know to black women that's relevant in the conversation and that's good information. 
I didn't know that before. Cause I, or, I, you or know. also even to go to piggyback off that, the fact that you also have to, again, it's we're consumers. So I think Cardi B even came out. I don't know if she came out with this video after what, but I think before um, when she first dropped her first album and she was basically saying like, everybody has such a problem with what I say in my music, but y'all are buying it. Men, you're buying it. Women, mm -hmm. you're buying it. Everyone's buying it. Black men are not buying. So, you can't okay. say that definitively. Okay, so, so, you can so, say that that's your so opinion look, this, that you wouldn't buy it. This is my it, opinion. This is my opinion. This is my opinion. It's my opinion, right? My opinion is that black men are not a primary fan base of Cardi B's. All right, that's that is just my opinion. Okay, I, I believe that black women are a primary uh, uh, fan base of Cardi B's. Now, this is just my opinion. Okay, so I don't, I think if black men stop by, I like Cardi B too. Like I don't I don't dislike these people, right? I, I really do. I think if black men just said, you know what, I'm not buying Cardi B's music anymore. I don't think Cardi B would even recognize it or so know. So question, radio DJs, how many of them do you think are men? How many of them do you think are women? Like, do you think it's more men, more women in the, in the, uh, in the, in the DJ game? Uh, probably more men, yeah. Correct. So who's breaking these records? So this is two different conversations. I'm saying fan base, but you're, now you're talking about radio. But I'm saying, I'm saying, cause it can, it trickles down. I'm literally talking about fan base. Correct. But I'm going to okay. talk about it all. Cause like I said. And, and that's good. I respect that. Cool. Start, start at the top. The okay. execs. Men, mm -hmm. the radio DJs breaking these records, men, the promoters booking these artists in the club, men, who's showing up to spend money in the club, men. So while men might not be literally sitting there pressing uh, 99 cents on iTunes, their dollars are still all feeding into the same industry. They're still all circulating money within the same industry. So you can't say, so men are in it. They're in it. I believe Just you. like women are. It's, so, it's both. But what I'm saying, my, I was talking about fan base. Like, I was literally talking about fan base. But so, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you have, that's what I'm, literally what I'm saying. Like, the music industry is a whole machine. So for you uh -huh. to talk about this piece. Fan base. Because okay. this piece fits the narrative that black women are primarily spending money. Whereas if you look at the whole picture, it's not the case. You're like, you're creating an so incorrect what, narrative. What, what, Jerry, I want you to tell, like, Kirsten. So, so, Kirsten, um, am I more sensitive to white supremacy or white men taking advantage of black women than I am black men? Maybe so. Does that come off as I'm blaming black women and I'm not talking about black men? I agree that it does. And uh, moving forward, if I say anything that in which a black woman is involved in, I will also say, but black men do this and they support this and they do that and, and, and the stuff that they have to work on also. So. Um, that your perspective is extremely limited and you have a lot of research that you clearly haven't done. Like what? And that, and that prior to making such definitive general statements, I would like for you to thoroughly research like, what it is what that you- What example is this? Cut the mic, because at this point, cut the mic. If this isn't if this isn't Kate, it's in point. I you don't know what is. You can't say something with no with, with no sense of support. If this isn't Kate, in point. Speak. I don't know what is. <laughs> black men protecting black women, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, <laughs> if he's sensitive to me and won't even let me finish my sentence. If that's not, <laughs> but, but, but how, what are you, you can wrap it there. What are you saying? <laughs>